Connecticut EV owners are voting for direct sales. October 19, 2022. Connecticut EV owners are making their voices heard at the polls in November and are voting for candidates who support direct sales. The battle for electric vehicle direct sales in Connecticut has been brutal over the past few years and the last bill that would have allowed companies like Tesla and Rivian to sell directly to consumers passed out of the committee but stalled. It didn't make it into law and EV owners in the state are advocating for change. The state is holding elections for the governor, federal and state representatives, and senators. One key question Tesla owners in the state are asking their candidates is whether or not they support direct sales. William Cross from the Tesla Owners Club of Connecticut told Tesla RT that many Tesla owners are stepping up to support direct sales. Tesla owners across the state are really stepping up. People care about this and are asking the candidates if they support direct sales. It plays a huge role in their vote. It's all part of the ongoing fight for EV freedom. Local dealerships have been fighting just as hard to prevent companies such as Tesla and Rivian from selling directly to consumers in the state. Misinformation about electric vehicles and Tesla itself have been overused tools by the local dealerships fighting to prevent manufacturers from selling directly to their customers. In July, a representative of a dealership told those at a planning and zoning meeting that direct sales EVs like Tesla are expensive luxury vehicles. And they are a very small percentage of the vehicles sold. During the first half of 2022, Tesla delivered 564,000 vehicles reflecting a 27% year-over-year growth, proving the dealership employees' claim untrue. The same dealership sued Tesla in 2021 and convinced another town to ban Tesla from opening a showroom. Source reposted and summarized from John A. Crider at Tesla RT. My take the dealer laws need to go. They only benefit the dealers. The consumer gets screwed. Elon Musk will be on Q3 2022 earnings call. October 19, 2022. Last year, Elon Musk caught headlines when he mentioned that he would likely be skipping out on Tesla's earnings calls. At least unless there's something really important that needs to be discussed. This seems to be the case for tomorrow's Tesla Q3 2022 earnings call. Musk confirmed his attendance at Tesla's third quarter earnings queue and a session on Twitter. When asked by a Tesla supporter if he would be in the Tesla Q3 2022 earnings call, Musk responded with a simple yes. The announcement was appreciated by many, though some, including a number of Tesla bulls, expressed their apprehensiveness about Musk's attendance partly due to the CEO's recent tendency to talk about Ukraine, Russia, and a potential nuclear war. That being said, if Musk focuses on Tesla and its business during the call, he could very well provide some key updates on the company's projects. These include the Cybertruck, which is expected to start production in the coming year. Recent videos from Giga Press supplier Idra have hinted that the Cybertruck's 9,000-ton casting machine is already completed and likely transported to Gigafactory Texas. All eyes are now on Tesla's Austin Electric Vehicle Factory to see when the massive contraption will be arriving at the complex. Another key topic that would likely be discussed during the Tesla Q3 2022 earnings call is a potential stock buyback. Respected Tesla bulls such as Future Fund Active ETF County founder Gary Black and Leo Ko Guan, who is believed to be one of the electric vehicle maker's largest retail shareholders, have both called for a stock buyback. Lastly, expectations are high that Elon Musk will also be discussing the company's next gigafactory as well as the upcoming deliveries of the Class 8 all-electric Tesla Semi. Tesla's humanoid robot project, which was showcased during AI Day 2022, would also likely be discussed at the upcoming earnings call. Source reposted and summarized from Simon Alvarez at Tesla RT. My take it would NT be the same without Elon there. Tesla actual smart summon is almost done. October 19, 2022. Tesla FSD's smart summon feature is about to get a lot better. Tesla has been working on refining the summoning feature to improve its capabilities. Thus far, smart summon has been more of a fun party trick rather than a feature FSD customers actively use. Tesla FSD's summoning feature still has some quirks to work out before customers are comfortable using it daily. Smart summon still has quirks when navigating a parking lot to reach its destination. So customers tend to use the feature when there are few people in or cars maneuvering through a parking lot. For instance, 
Smart summon usually has trouble when the car is parked backward with the nose out since the first step to reach its destination is usually to back out of a parking space. There was a nasty bug that I reported to Tesla where the car forgets that it was reversing when it was last moving when it is off. When it boots up again, it remembers its location and its direction of travel. But it assumes that was driving forward so it now thinks it's pointing 180 degrees from reality. One FSD user stated about smart summon. It doesn't correct itself until it has actually started moving and it can tell from its GPS position that it's going in the opposite direction. And that can take a long time if it is parked somewhere without GPS reception. Single FSD stack. In 2021, Elon Musk noted that smart summon was useful sometimes. But it was mostly just a fun trick. He added that FSD's summoning feature and highway driving would improve once Tesla moves those features to a single FSD stack. During AI Day, an FSD expert noted that the FSD stack on highway drives is already performing better than the production stacks that Tesla has released. He also mentioned a parking lot stack, which Tesla aims to include in the FSD stack by the end of the year. The smart summon and auto park features usually go hand in hand with Tesla FSD. Elaborating on the parking lot stack. The FSD expert said so that will basically bring us to you sit in the car in the parking lot and drive till the end of the parking lot at a parking spot. Currently, Tesla is running V.10.69.2.3 in its FSD beta program. There have been some slight issues with versus.10.69 and following iterations. But the FSD beta testers have seen major improvements since it came out. Tesla plans to release version 10.69.3 soon. And Musk teased it would introduce significant improvements to FSD yet again. Based on 10.69 improvements. The presentations during AI Day 2022. And updates from Musk. Tesla seems close to releasing a single FSD stack. Source reposted and summarized from Maria Murano at Tesla RT. My take the smart summon feature scares me a little bit. Tesla semi-production is taking place in this secret Nevada facility. October 19th, 2022. The Tesla semi is almost here. But the facility where the electric automaker builds the Class 8 truck is extremely mysterious. Even to employees who work at Gigafactory 1 in Sparks, Nevada, near Reno. Employees at Gigafactory 1 who do not work in the newest Tesla-owned building on the property are just as confused as the rest of us. Tesla workers involved in producing various products in the main Gigafactory 1 building cannot access this facility because the semi-project is so elusive and top secret that it has been kept extremely under wraps by the company. Even to employees. They are super hushed about anything semi-related. One person with knowledge of the building said. Tesla has been very limited on details regarding the manufacturing of the semi. Even keeping its manufacturing location listed as TBD on page 7 of its most recent shareholder deck for the Q2 earnings call. With production now nearing, details are beginning to be revealed. Tesla purchased the building in Q2 2020. According to a market research report from Kidder Matthews, the commercial real estate firm that sold the automaker and sustainable energy company the property. It is 650.000 square feet in size. According to listings posted when the building was still available. The address also appears on several import. Export logs for Tesla. Including a shipment of bus bars from Shanghai. Bus bars are solid metal bars used to carry current and are frequently utilized in high current environments. Which makes them suitable for EVs. The mention of the semi-factory's potential address. Which Kidder Matthews lists as 550 Milan Drive confirms automotive production is going on in the facility. There was even more confirmation of the semi's manufacturing location last night after a VIN decoder for the vehicle was found is submitted to the NHTSA. The VIN only lists the plant of manufacture as N meaning Reno, Nevada, where Gigafactory 1 and the mysterious semi building are located. Tesla is preparing to deliver the first semi-units to Pepsi on December 1 after several years of delays. In 2020, Elon Musk sent an email to employees listing the semi as ready for volume production. Only to push initial deliveries back to Q4 2021. This date was also off the mark as Tesla never got its semi to Pepsi's facilities in Modesto or Sacramento. Where the first units will ultimately take off from by the end of 2022. It seems now Tesla is undoubtedly getting close to semi-production. While details regarding the initial builds are still coming out. 
The semi-factory where Tesla is manufacturing the vehicle itself still remains elusive from public knowledge. Source reposted and summarized from Joey Clender at Tesla RT. My take I am sure the other transport truck manufacturers are not happy right now.